Hi, and welcome to this Vue quick tip. Vue 2024 includes a completely redesigned export central panel for configuring both scene-wide and per-object export options in one central place. The settings you configure in this new panel also apply to how the scene is exported for being rendered with cycles. Let's have a look at how this panel works. To access the panel, go to File, Export Entire Scene, Export Sky, or to Export Object when an object is selected. The panel is structured in different categories. In the Geometry Settings and Output Format category, you set up the 3D file format to use for all exported 3D meshes, the Export Destination folder, and global parameters such as the Geometry Baking Quality, and whether you want to export UVs, LODs for any asset type, or billboards. You can also set up the global export zone for exporting portions of infinite objects such as the ground plane, the water plane, or clouds. The exported files will be named automatically by view according to the object, texture map, and material names, except for the sky map file name, which you can set up here. In the materials category, you define which texture format to use for baked textures, which ones for existing textures which don't require rebaking and the baking quality and baking resolution. You can also force all textures to be baked, in which case you can define the channels to be baked, or whether you only want to dump existing texture maps and never bake anything else. In automatic mode, Vue will decide for you which mode to use, based on whether the material on an object uses only texture maps or procedural functions, which would then need to be baked. Finally, animation refers to exporting keyframed animations from the timeline and is only available if you do have a keyframed object in the scene. Animation export includes basic animation export only, so keyframe position, rotation and scaling animation. Any procedural or morphing geometry animation, for example an animated procedural terrain which changes shape over time, cannot be exported with this option. Now, the power of this panel is hidden in the individual baking settings per asset type. Only those assets which exist in the scene are available to configure. In this scene, I have a terrain, a ground plane, some clouds, a plant factory plant, and an ecosystem consisting of plant factory plants. So let's say I want to define the resolution of the baked texture maps, but only for terrains, without affecting the baking resolutions for other objects in the scene. I can go to the Terrain category, select that I want to override one of the global export and material settings for all terrains in the scene, and then just check the setting I want to override. And now I can individually configure the texture export and the baking mode for just the terrains in the scene. All the other objects will use the global options defined previously. I could also disable material export entirely just for terrains if I want to. Or, if I wanted to be really specific, I could select a particular terrain object in the scene and override export options for just this one object, without affecting the other terrains at all. So, overrides per asset type will override the global options, and overrides per object will in turn override the asset type overrides. When it comes to ecosystems, you will find the export option for each ecosystem item in the asset type category that the item belongs to. So since I'm using plant factory plants in my ecosystem, I will find the export overrides for the ecosystem items in the plant factory category, alongside the export overrides for the standalone plant factory object I also have in the scene. One thing to note for plant factory plants is that they have an additional wind animation export group of settings, which is configured here and not in the animation category. But you can of course combine this with keyframe position scale or rotation animation. For plant factory plants in ecosystems, you have to define upon loading of the plant into the ecosystem if the plant is loaded as an animated, static or procedural object, which is why you cannot change the wind animation export settings for those items in the dialog here, which view will also tell you as a tooltip by the way. In general, if a setting is grayed out in any panel and you don't know why, check out the tooltips. They will most likely tell you why a setting is not available for a particular object. But anyways, to get back to the ecosystem topic, if you want to change the wind animation export for plant factory plants in an ecosystem, go to the ecosystem, select the item, and change the item type as needed. 
With animated mesh, the wind animation is pre-baked with standard wind strengths and it will be exported with the defined duration and frame rate that you set up here. With procedural, you will be able to configure the wind animation in the export options panel later and the wind and breeze settings from the atmosphere editor will be considered during export. And static means of course that no wind animation will be exported at all. Finally, there is one setting you need to pay attention to. So back in the geometry settings and output format group, you define whether the entire scene will be exported or only the currently selected objects. This is also the difference between entering the export dialog through export entire scene or through export object. Depending on how you access the dialog, the corresponding option will already be pre-selected. So if you are in the export panel, but you don't see settings for all objects in the scene or other asset categories are grayed out, then make sure you select export all objects to see and enable export settings for everything else in the scene. And you can also save presets of your most commonly used export settings to a file. These presets include both the global options and any asset overrides per asset type, but no overrides per object because these are of course different for each scene. So we hope you like the streamlined export in view 2024. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.